Greetings. Good evening. Good afternoon. Salutations. And I'm sure the list goes on and on how to greet people. Aloha. Ohio Gazimus. All right, so this is week six of the um, Mason's Archives family questions. Um, I think some of you guys did better than what you think, but um, some of you kind of disappointed me on not remembering certain things that happened to yourself, Vicki. So I'm going to get into it. Um, these are the questions. All right, so when I was little, I pulled out the box of pictures out of the utility room above the washer and dryer. What happened? So Vicki said, um, knock the shelf off or ants. So that's wrong. Debbie said, fell behind the dryer. Wrong. Diana said, termites fell out of the box. That is correct. Susie said, shelf fell. Wrong. Andrea said, shelf fell down. Wrong. Heather said, bugs come out. So I gave you a point for that. Um, and no, Vicki, you said ants. She said bugs. Um, and Brian said, termites fell out with the box and it freaked us all out. And yes, you're right, it did, because I remember those things crawling all over me. And I don't, I, I just remember I not knowing what to do. I just started screaming for mom. And it was, it was just a weird time. So that was number one. Number two, what was the name of the band I was in? The longest, my longest running band I was in. Vicki said, sorry, Jim, I don't remember. Debbie said Pegasus, but it's wrong, but uh, there was a band named Pegasus that was from uh, Logan County, like Bell Fountain area at the same time that we were out. Diana said, Jim and the long-haired hippies. Okay, so I wanted you to be specific because I said the longest running band I was in. That, that was a short running band. No, actually, that was never a name of our band. So you're saying I was a long-haired hippie, huh? All right, so Susie said, riot act with my friend Scott. So Susie, you were correct. So I'm going to give you a, a rock on with that because you were the only one that got it right. And that kind of uh, covers up your saying that mom and dad had my adoption papers in the little jewelry box. So good job, Susie. You got it right. Um, Andrea said Jerry Curl. I'm just going to read all the answers because they're kind of ridiculous. Um, Heather said Shorty Shorts. And Brian said Donnie and Marie. If I was Donnie, I would be in Montana right now in a big old long cabin in the middle of the mountains. All right. So um, Susie's the only one that got that right. And with the other one, Diana... Heather and Brian got that one right, the first one. Number three, so in the summertime when we were little, how would mom cool us off in the summer with when we didn't have a pool? Number three, Vicki said mom sprayed us with a hose. Um, yeah, I, she did do that. I remember that, but that wasn't the answer I was looking for. Um, Debbie said sprayed with hose, so I'm assuming with you two being older, that's probably what she did with you guys. Diana said, put water in a metal trash can. That is correct. That's If you remember on the questions, excuse me, I said, it's kind of nasty if you think about it. But I remember mom going out and scrubbing them out and spraying them out. But I remember, uh, I think all our trash went into trash bags first and then into the trash can. But mom did spray them out and clean them out before she uh, filled them up with water. But I don't understand why mom would fill the trash can full of water, but she wouldn't. She'd only put like three or four inches in that little pool she bought. I mean, it was only like a about an eight foot round pool and maybe about two foot deep at the most. But yeah, she didn't put much water in it. Um, Susie said, buckets of rainwater. Wrong. Andrea said, we played in the sewer. I did that when uh, the corner of Jefferson Street and Farming Street would flood. I would go down there and play, which, and you think about it, it's pretty dangerous because if the main hole lifted up and you got sucked down in that hole, then you were done. Um, Heather said, garbage cans. Um, how did you know that, Heather? So I gave you a point for that. 
and Brian said garbage cans. Hmm, I see a conspiracy going on here. So three of you got it right. Diana, Heather, and Brian, the, all the Williams got it right. All right, so number four. Vicki, you disappointed me on this. Vicki had an accident when she was little getting it. I can't remember if it was getting in or out of the car, but what, what happened to her? How did she get hurt? Vicki said, I do not remember getting hurt, so maybe it wasn't very traumatic to you. Debbie said, tip cut off of her pinky finger, which was correct. Um, <laughs> said, Peter Pants. Um, Susie said, finger got caught in the door and the tip sewn back on. Susie's correct. Um, Andrea said, smash her finger. So, Andrea, I gave you a point for that. Um, Heather said, Peter Pants. Hmm, I'm seeing a trend here. And Brian said, Pete Pants. Definitely seeing a trend now. So, the correct answer was she got her finger caught in the door and took the, the tip of her pinky off. I didn't know you got it sewed back on. I'm not sure if you did or not, but that was the correct answer. You got the tip of your pinky taken off. So, um, two of you got it right, Debbie and Susie. Oh, and Andrea. Sorry, three of you got it right. All right, number five. What was Aunt Dot's? What was Aunt? Bleh, what was Aunt Dot famous for making on the holidays that everybody wanted her to make? So Vicky said peanut butter fudge. Debbie peanut butter fudge. Diana peanut butter fudge. Susie peanut butter fudge. Andrea fudge. Heather said fudge with a touch of band aid. And Brian said. Some kind of cherry dessert. Um, I think that was what Debbie make, made. When, I'm sure she still does. Um, we called it cherry goop. And I love that stuff. I'm going to have to get the recipe for that or have Debbie make me some. But everybody was right except for Brian. It was peanut butter fudge. And I'm not a big fudge eater, so I never, I don't, I don't I'm sure I've tried it, but. Like I said, I'm not a fudge eater, so, but I do love peanut butter. And if you, well, I don't know, that's going to be a question for later. All right. It's going to be an old question. So, like I said, I'm trying to make stuff current, but it's still I'm going to ask it. All right, number six. Uh, we had a get-together at the Legion. It was Christmas or Thanksgiving. I can't remember which it was. Aunt Dot made her fudge, and she lost something in it. What did she lose? Vicky said Band-Aid, which is correct. Debbie said bandage, Diana said band-aid, Susie band-aid, Andrea band-aid, Brian or Heather band-aid, <laughs> Brian said false teeth. <laughs> You're close, but wrong. So six of you got it right. Brian, you got it wrong. It was the band-aid. All right, so number seven. What was the color of the ornament that mom had in her curio cabinet with all the dishes and everything? She had a antique ornament. I want to say it was German. She had it hanging on a little shelf and I, I said in the questions that I thought Vicki had it and she sent me a picture of it and yes she does have it. So what color was the ornament? Um, Vicki said green. You better not get that one wrong. Um, Debbie said can't remember so she guessed clear with gold. Wrong. Um, Diana guessed white. Susie guessed red. Andrea guessed white and gold. Heather guessed pink, and Brian guessed red. I guess I skipped a question. No, it didn't. I guess I got them out of order. Anyhow, it was green, so Vicky got that one right. So I, I got you guys scored right. Maybe I... When I wrote these down, I kind of randomly went through them when I asked the questions. And I might have asked them or have these in, out of order. But anyhow, um, the ornament was green. So Vicky, Vicky, you're the only one that got it right. All right. So that was uh, number seven. Number eight, what decoration did mom put out at Christmas? That when we were kids, um, she'd get it out of the attic, put it together, put it up. So, Vicki said cardboard fireplace. That was correct. 
Debbie said cardboard fireplace. Diana, cardboard fireplace. Um, Heather, or Susie said train tracks. Oh, well, I guess I, maybe I screwed up and asked. Oh, yeah, okay, never mind. Um, Susie said train tracks with the train going under the tree. Um, Andrea said Christmas tree. Heather said chimney with fireplace. And Brian said tree. So the cardboard fireplace was right. And like I said in the questions, um, I'm pretty sure I found it on eBay. And I wish I would have bought it now because it wasn't very much. I want to say like 30 bucks. But man, that would have been really neat to have because I really enjoyed that as a kid. And uh, I know you guys probably did too. Um, what, and once we get closer to Christmas, I'm going to try to incorporate a lot more Christmas questions. All right. So whoever said cardboard fireplace, you were correct. Number nine, what did mom decorate the tree with? All right. So Vicki said old ornaments, angels, and bells. So what I was looking for was angels. Um, and you know, I I know I asked a question about what mom collected earlier, but um, she did have a lot of bells. And I see that's where it changes from everybody's memories. Um, so, yeah, it, angels was what I was looking for. Debbie said angels. Diana said angels. Um, Susie said angels. He Andrea said angels. Heather said angels. And Brian said angels. So everybody got it right. All right, so last question. What sat in the corner in 638 in the living room great room whatever you want to call it it was i said it was big and from what i can remember because i know dad didn't move anything around um what sat in the corner so vicky said the pump organ or the desk with the hutch so pump organ was what i was looking for debbie said organ or roll top desk she got it right diana said pump organ correct um, Susie said photo with the easel on an easel. Um, that wasn't what I was looking for, but yes, I do remember that. And I wish I would have saved that picture. I mean, it wasn't worth anything, but mom really liked it. And she would proudly put it on that little brass easel. Um, Andrea said piano, but yes, pump organ. Um, Heather said pump organ with no new movies in it for us kids. I don't know what you mean by no no movies. So try to explain that to me, Heather. And Brian said organ with foot pedals. So everybody who said uh, organ got it correct. So for the totals, and you know what, I'm still going to probably have to fumble around for the totals with everything. And I got to remember to add four for Andrea for last week. Because she answered late and I got it got her with the answers. And it's probably back here in the mess. I'm gonna have to get a new family archive book to get it all straightened up. Nope, nope. There it is. Alright, so Vicky got six. So that puts her at 44 and a half, which Vicky was, you know, that's pretty good out of the 10 questions because you said you didn't think you did very well. Um, Vicky said uh, she's pretty sure she's going to drop in points this week, but still, I think you did pretty good. You only got four of them wrong. Um, Debbie got six, so that puts her at 50. Um, and she said, Welcome to whoever passes my score. Well, I guess we'll have to see him figure it out. Oh, this is going to be interesting. So, Diana got seven. Puts her at 50. Heather got seven. Puts her at 37. Andrea, so one, two, three, four, five. She got four. That put her at 26 on week five. Andrea got five right. That puts you at 31. And Susie got five right. Puts you at 
26. All right. Oh, and Brian got four right, but he hasn't played for like several weeks, so I'm going to put him at like nine. So, in the lead is Debbie and Diana at 50. Heather, well, I'm sorry, Vicky at 44 and a half. Heather at 37. Andrea at 31. Susie at 26. And Brian at nine. So, I think for the uh, to make this fair, I'm going to ask, oh man, how do I break this tie? Maybe I'm not going to break the tie. Maybe I'm going to leave it at Debbie and Diana even because I didn't tell you guys this and I just thought about it um, while I was doing week six. You know, if you think about it when you're in school, um, you get a grade every six weeks. So your guys' grade card just came out. So this is your six-week grade card, and we're going to start over fresh next week with a zero, and we're going to do it every six weeks as long as I can think of questions. So Debbie and Diana tied. Vicky got third or second. Heather got third. Andrew fourth. Susie fifth. Brian bottom dweller in the cellar. So... There you have it for uh, week six. Hope everybody enjoyed their Thanksgiving. I did. I didn't eat much because I had snacks before I ate dinner. And uh, when uh, we were at Best Moms, Beth came up with a little trivia thing. It was kind of cool how uh, she came up with 10 questions or eight questions for um, Thanksgiving. And she asked questions like how many women were at the... Uh, the uh, first Thanksgiving meal, which was like with the pilgrims and the Indians. And amazing enough, there was only five women at the dinner. And then she asked how many days it lasted. Um, the first Thanksgiving with the pilgrims and the Indians lasted three days. Um, she asked when was the first thanks when was the first NFL football game for Thanksgiving? And, uh, um, you know, I know she looked all this up. Um, she said 1927. And then she had a lightning round, which was pretty cool. So uh, she started asking questions about Christmas. And it was it was, it was was fun. And um, I hate to say this, but I won, of course. So anyhow, uh, that's week six uh, done. And I have week six, seven already done. Uh, filmed and ready to put on for next week and I've got another video I'm going to put on because Debbie asked you know what made you do this so I made, I made a video and explained to you why I did it so there you have it everybody have a good evening um, I'm ready for my phone to start blowing up about uh, all the answers and everything so I'll talk to you guys here in about five minutes or no about 20 minutes because it's going to take a while for it to download, upload see you